Homebay Brewery. When you're watching this video and you know my standards, this is going to be mind blowing. And I'm probably never getting the nickname King of Sanitation again. It's time to shoot a video and brew our old grain beer. This time a lot different than the other brew tubers do. This is an experiment, maybe for once, but with home beer brewery, you never know. It's time to brew a beer with pond water. Please keep watching. I hear you guys thinking, what the heck is he doing? You can use regular tap water or something. Yes, I know, but uh, again, this is an experiment. And in another upcoming video, I will explain you why I'm doing this experiment. Brewing beer with pond water. Uh, I'm making a small batch today, only 10 liters. So if it's um, not drinkable, then, uh, then I don't have to waste a lot of grains. I have everything set up. Here are my grains. It's a very simple grain bill, simple recipe. Uh, 2125 grams of two row pills malt and about 125 grams of cara pills. I have my boil kettle right over there. And here is my filtration system. The sparge water container. I'm going to fill with pond water and filter through the plastic spigot into the funnel with a coffee filter. I will show you that later. Into a better bottle to collect the filtered water. It's time to collect some water. Come with me. There is already a coffee filter inside the funnel. I collected enough water. Time to open the spigot and start filtering. Get yourself a really nice cold homebrew. Meanwhile, I will crack the grains and I will start the brew. What I have here is a small amount of pond water to test the pH level. I need only 5 milliliters. There we go, as you can see just a little bit and I need to add 5 drops of this liquid, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and as you can see it turned green, dark green. Now I have to compare it with the colors on the package. And I have probably a pH of 7.5. 7 7 7.2 or something. 7.5 is too dark, 7.0 is too light, so between this. So I will correct the mesh water with um, lactic acid 
and check the pH level again. After the pre-boil, I'm going to add it in the right amount to the bulk kettle. I need about 15 liters. This is five. There we go. So still a little bit uh, yellow, but um, I don't care. Speaker this close. There we go. And then we'll let the strike water cool off to um, about 70 degrees because when I'm adding the grains there are about 15 degrees the temperature will drop to 67 degrees or something. And here I have the other 8 liters. This is 5. And this is the evidence that I don't that I don't use tap water, it's still yellow. There we go. Keep the camera rolling. I can show you the inside of the blue kettle. And there we go. Light yellow color. And I'm at the 15 liters mark. The mark is over there. So that's fine. And I have a false bottom in it. And I will explain why. I'm using a false bottom because I'm going to brew with the brew in a bag method. As you can see the dough in temperature is 70 degrees. So let's put in the bag and of course the grains. Adding the grains. Let's give it a stir. I'm adding the lid and I will check the temperature in about one minute. As you can see the temperature is 67 degrees and I will start the one hour mash right now. Before I dote in the grains I took a sample again from my mass water. This time corrected with some uh, lactic acid. And it's time to add again five drops of this liquid. One, two, three, four, five. And as you can see this time it's yellow. And it's more like a pH pH of five right now. Maybe it's a little bit darker, so five point five. So that's uh, great for mashing. Okay, let's see if the conversion is completed. There we go. Perfect. It's time to remove the bag. Total mesh time was 70 minutes.
Let's pull this bag out. There we go. And we'll let it drain a couple of minutes so it stops dripping. And uh, let's turn, uh, turn on the burner. So let's bring this up to a boil and I have to remove the false bottom. Here we have it. Okay, a nice rolling boil. There we go. It's time to add the first hop addition. This is uh, 15 grams of uh, Hallertau Hetzbrugge hops, bittering hops. And I will start the 60 minute boil right now. There we go. 15 minutes left on the boil. It's time to add the word chiller. There we go. And I will stop the time of boiling right now till it's uh, till the wort starts boiling again. When I put my big immersion chiller in, the temperature will drop below the boiling point. So I will wait a couple of minutes and then I will start the time again. All right, we are back on the boil. It's time to add some Irish moss and yeast nutrients. I have here. Uh, about 7 grams of Irish moss and 1 gram of yeast nutrient. There we go. 5 minutes left on the boil. It's time to add the aroma hops, sads hops, uh, about 20 grams I believe. There we go. Ooh. 60 minute boil time is over. I finished this brew, turn off the flame and start the war chiller. Adding cold water. You're already hearing the ticking sound, that's a good sign. This is the cool inlet, this is the outlet. And that's hot. There we go. The temperature about the word is 25 degrees. Now I'm going to transfer it into a nice and clean and sanitized fermenter. I have a sanitized hose. Let's open the valve. There we go. And I'm also going to take a gravity reading. I aerated it well and uh, it's time to add the yeast. It's a uh, temperature of the world is 24 degrees. And I took a gravity reading. Let's take a look. I don't know if you can see this, but the original gravity is 1.046. So I'm happy with that. Fourteen hours later, it's fermenting like crazy. Take a look. There's a lot of activity going on in there. 